All right, hey YouTube, how you doing? It's Max. Um, in this video, uh, I'm working on a project with uh, my brother. So um, my brother was watching one of my, um, I guess, uh, City Skylines videos, and uh, we both like to do world building and stuff. So he was like, hey Max, could you make me like this city uh, for one of this, these projects that I'm working on. So I was like, sure. And so this is kind of, uh, so I'm playing City Skylines. We're trying to make a city for my brother. Um, and he gave me some criteria. He wanted there to be a zoo. <clears throat> he wanted there to be uh, three or four universities, pretty much. Um, he wanted at least six neighborhoods. And uh, I forget what else off the top of my head, but that's kind of what's going on and this might be like a little mini series as i'm doing the video game just to kind of um you know mix it up a bit so it's not just game devlogs but um <clears throat> so uh yeah this will be kind of documenting that process as you can see i've gotten a little bit of uh, work done already um i do not have the money on you know i'm not really focusing on money we're more just focusing on creating the city um <clears throat> and so I got the first kind of uh, campus for universities right over here. Um, this is kind of like the administration kind of area. So like, um, I guess this is, it's not really that well detailed at the moment. It's just kind of like bare bones. Uh, I kind of want to do a lot more uh, stuff before I really start detailing it if I get around to it. But um, <clears throat> this is kind of like, uh, I guess you would say your administration area. So you've got your your two dorms here. You've got your admin building here. I think this is a study hall, uh, dining, just kind of like that sort of stuff. Uh, some smaller buildings. I think that's like a maintenance center and this is an auditorium. Um, so I'm using these kind of like local roads for the campus just because I don't want there to be a lot of traffic coming in through here. Uh, I want them to use these major roads and go around the campus. Um, <clears throat> unless people are actually going into the campus to do stuff. Um, so this is like your administration dorms, some walking paths that can kind of go across the street here. It's not completely, um, you know, touched up, but um, sometimes working with paths in this game can be a bit um, annoying. Um, and then this is kind of like the quad area uh, for right now. So you've got your three kind of academic buildings. I think there's like an engineer, um, School of Tourism and Travel, and this is the Police Academy, and this is a trade school if I didn't say this. Um, <coughs> so uh, with the expansion pack, you can do either the trade school, the liberal arts, uh, or the university, and then you've got your varsity sports and you've got your museums. Um, <coughs> so this is like kind of like the quad area, and then there's kind of this other local path uh, that kind of goes behind uh, the quad. Um, with another path kind of connecting to the quad from here. I was thinking about putting some more buildings here or something, but not sure yet. Uh, and this local road uh, connects to the collector once again, but we've got a basketball stadium here and a gymnasium uh, right here. And then uh, this over here is just a tech museum. So just another kind of amenity. <clears throat> but um, so this is kind of just like one, uh, you wanted like three or four of these. So, you know, we have a lot of space to work with. So I'll probably make like a more urban one, uh, maybe a couple urban ones. Um, and, and then this is kind of like more of the, the trade school, I guess, kind of off to the side. Um, <clears throat> so this is kind of like the first one. We wanted it, or I, I wanted to kind of tuck it in in this area. I thought that would be a good spot. Originally, I had all of this land kind of dedicated for farming. Um, just because when you go up to the, uh, the resources, you can see that this is all like prime farming area, but I figured that, um, you know, I was taking a look at the size of some of these universities and was like, yeah, we'll probably need to, uh, make some space for one of these. So, um, so this is the first university, the first area I actually worked on, um, well, actually what I first worked on, um, <clears throat> you have these kind of highways, and um, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted these highways to uh, just kind of run through the entire thing. So I uh, elevated them all. 
Um, it is kind of sloppy right now. Hopefully we'll touch it up a little bit later, especially at some of these like um, overpasses. But I pretty much just uh, elevated the entire highways. I kind of like the look of it. Uh, it's probably not the most cost effective, but um, <clears throat> there's like areas where I kind of put the railroads underground and they would pop up like out here. So I was just kind of working on some of that kind of stuff. Um, like this is not the best probably overpass. There is some space that you could probably like build something uh, a little bit cleaner. But um, I don't know. This is just to, to make the... Uh, it's more about having it work, I guess, than to make it as like cool as it can be at the moment. Um, <clears throat> this overpass area is definitely going to need some touching up. It's... Just a bunch of spaghetti right here, but there's a lot of space uh, that we can utilize to really like touch this up and make it cleaner, um, because yeah, it's it's not very pretty. And then it kind of just uh, oh, I just realized that I didn't even connect this the right way. So uh, I think all these might have explained why some of the traffic is uh, a bit messed up right now. Wow. Well, get all this <laughs> finished. There we go. Yeah. Um, nothing over here. I put a toll road just because uh, I was originally thinking about maybe like making this entire thing a toll road. <clears throat> just because it's uh, if I was going to have any toll road in this place, this would probably be uh, the best toll road. But then it kind of got a little bit wonky over here, uh, a little cramped. Um, in this kind of access point because I can't really build off of the out of the city limits and I was kind of running out of space here so I just kind of did like a weird little roundabout uh, part of it goes underneath the first part so it's kind of like a spiral in a way leading towards the farms and the farms kind of uh, on the other side this is kind of like a little valley area so you've got the homes on one side and then you've got like I guess uh, this is kind of like a, your, your waste collection with some windmills on top here. So this is kind of more industrial. And then you've got your kind of commercial in the valley. And then you've got your residential on this hill. And then you've got this kind of like walking, uh, hiking trail kind of on the other side overlooking the water. So that could be like a nice kind of amenity for the people who live here. <clears throat> uh, this is where the river kind of... Uh, and so you'll see these rivers kind of split. Um, so this is where we're putting all the waste as well. Um, there's not a whole lot of, like I have some dirt roads here. I thought that was kind of aesthetic for this kind of area, this kind of mountain land. There's the, the one road that kind of um, goes through the neighborhoods up here. And uh, I think I only have one access road into this neighborhood, which I kind of wanted to add a second, but there's just not that much space to really do it unless I added like one um, I guess like an access road here and an access road here I guess I could add, add a second one here but it just seems like such a, a small strip of land actually while I'm here I might as well um, upgrade this to that because oops uh, wrong one where's the bike one right there so make that all kind of uh consistent um yeah like my money is really uh you know if i was playing a real game this would be terrible because the amount of money that's being invested into road maintenance is uh would bankrupt the city but this is just kind of like a fun creative project for world building and trying to conceptualize the uh the city so when you write stories you can kind of um <coughs> uh i guess use this as a reference point uh, one thing that I thought was kind of, like, uh, interesting, I have this, like, highway exit um, kind of coming really close to this building, but I was thinking it, it's kind of interesting. Some cities have, like, these, like, elevated highways that go around. Um, I think, like, Baltimore has something like this where it kind of just goes around the city. Um, so I thought that was kind of an interesting way to, uh, I guess, keep this. Because when, you, when you're working on these types of maps... Um, the traffic will get clogged up real quick because these are like heavy, uh, or like really fast roads. And then if you wanted, like, I, I thought this was just like a really picturesque place to have like a starting town. So, um, <clears throat> so 
So if I had the highway go straight into here, um, it would just back up traffic completely. So that's why this is kind of like a weird spaghetti um, uh, system. But uh, right now the traffic looks like it's flowing pretty decently. Um, we'll see how that goes once we get um, more residents. Like this is only 5,000 people so far. But um, I don't know. Right now I feel pretty comfortable with the, this kind of uh, this highway kind of going around the downtown. Um, but yeah, we'll touch this up. Um, <clears throat> after making this kind of first area, I, uh, well, I kind of fleshed out the farms and stuff. Um, I came over to this other, um, I guess, uh, entry point and was trying to make another kind of um, roundabout area. So connecting highways to the, to the central highway and then um, kind of an exit that kind of connects to this roundabout. And I wanted to focus on a second neighborhood over here. Um, <clears throat> so I thought that this like kind of rock formation would be a cool place to, uh, to set up a park. Uh, again, it's only a one star park. There isn't really a whole lot of amenities in the park yet, but I just wanted to kind of wall it off to, you know, signify that this could be a cool place for a park. Um, and then this is kind of like the town that's near the park. So hopefully when this park kind of becomes a little bit more fleshed out, it will increase some of the, the land value. Um, and then this kind of area right here is just more industrial. So I created like a collector road, an industrial collector road, and then kind of more collectors that eventually uh, led to the creation of this, um, this campus, but also connect to this town over here so that there is another access way to get from one side to the other side of the town without necessarily going on the highway. Um, <clears throat> and so this is kind of like the main power plant area. So, um, you know, I've got the solar power plant because this is just a creative project. Um, I wanted to keep up with the electricity uh, demand. And then I got two coal power plants. So while we have, um, uh, you know, some windmills kind of scattered around the area, I kind of like the idea of um, each town kind of having like some sort of like local power source so that there isn't not everyone is dependent on the grid per se um, but everything will be kind of connected but I just think that you know having those kinds of island uh, power sources is nice oh this building is on fire so we should probably maybe it would be good to have like a a local fire department nearby um, just because we can um, so hopefully they put that fire out um, and then this area over here uh, this is uh, if you look at the resources there's a lot of forest um, potential over here so I was thinking maybe this part would be forest but I kind of like this as like a park as well keep some natural green and then this will probably be like a forest lumber industry um, and you know I'm missing a lot of the the dark green areas but again this isn't like the most efficient um city ever it's just kind of like uh there is some kind of like uh um inspiration due to like what would naturally be based on the map what would naturally be um uh what would naturally make sense so i guess in my opinion it would naturally make sense that a town might generate right here kind of next to the highway um, and next to this rack formation and next to this uh, lumber area so that people can, you know, work at the lumber yard or work at the uh, incinerary place. And then, <coughs> so that was District 1 up there, District 2 down here, and then I was working on District 3, which is this kind of, uh, uh, I guess, more urbanized area with a lot of high-rises, uh, again, kind of going along the... Um, along the highway, kind of uh, sandwiched between the river and the highway. So uh, we'll eventually kind of flesh all this out. I was thinking about trying to make like some sort of park that runs along like this kind of uh, riverfront. Um, and that could be kind of cool to like look at it. So I didn't want like um, a bunch of houses kind of obstructing the facade of the front interior ones. So uh, and thought that this would be a nice open area for a park. Um, and you can kind of see the bridge from the park. 
you can kind of just see the, the houses and the rows. So I thought that would be like kind of nice. Um, and then you can kind of see the other side of the city. Uh, there will probably be a nice city skyline, hence the title of the game, uh, on the other side of this river. So just thought that having that as a cool view could be nice with the mountains in the background. Um, and then on the other side of this uh, bridge, it's a uh, very similar. So a uh, narrow strip of land that we're kind of keeping open for like maybe some parks or something. Um, there's some medical centers here and then um, just more uh, riverfront land for parks and recreation. And you can see like kind of the big bridge off to the distance over there. Uh, we'll flesh all this out with park stuff. And then we've kind of got some fences already, um, just kind of aesthetically barriering the park uh, from the uh, from the highway. Um, <coughs> there was a zoo, um, a request for a zoo. I don't know if this is the right spot for the zoo. Um, I think we might put the zoo somewhere in this uh, big area. As you can see, this is a huge, this was an idea. I was thinking about maybe putting another farm here, but I don't know yet. But this is just so much space. So we can definitely probably fit, um, you know, another, like, another couple universities here, uh, zoo. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of space that we can work with. A little kind of area over here, you can see there's like this strip. Thinking about maybe in the future putting some, like, more houses up here that can uh, overlook the the city to, uh, I guess, I don't know what direction this is. There isn't really a compass, but overlooking the city that way and then overlooking the, the town over there. And even some more strips of land over here. So hopefully we'll eventually get um, all this stuff fleshed out. But um, this is kind of just like update one of the, uh, of the uh, whatever we're doing, right? The, I think it's called Serenity City is the working title of this. But um, yeah. Uh, hopefully there will be more of these videos in the future, but for now this is what the uh, what the first draft looks like. So uh, I guess I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.